Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, maximal, minimal, least and greatest members in the Hussey diagram. In our last class, we clearly discussed about how to create the Hussey diagrams, uh, how to construct the Hussey diagrams. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. Uh, Let's take a set A. A is equal to 2, 4, 5, 10, 12, 20, 25. These are the set of elements. On this set, we are having a relation divided by. Means 2 divided by 2 divides 4. So 2 comma 4 is 1 ordered pair. 5 divides 10. So 5 comma 10 is 1 ordered pair. That is how our relation contains the ordered pairs. On that relation, we are going to construct a Hussey diagram. If it is a poset, if our relation is a poset, then we are going to construct Hussey diagram. So this is how our Hussey diagram looks like for this relation and set. So these basics discussed previously, we are not discussing here. So by looking at this Hussey diagram, we can identify maximal and minimal members, minimal elements. So, so from this diagram, 20, 12, 25, we call them as maximal members. And 2, 5, we call it as minimal elements. So why we call it as maximal elements? See, above this, we don't have any other elements. Above this, we don't have any other elements. Those type of elements, we call it as maximal elements. Below this, we don't have any other elements. 2, 5. So, below this. That's why these two are minimal members. By looking at the diagram, you can identify maximal and minimal very easy. But you need to understand the definition also. So, what's the definition of maximal member? Maximal member. Let's take Y belongs to P. Here, P means poset. This is what we constructed Hussey diagram on our poset. Let's take a Y belongs to P in the poset. Y is maximal. Then we are going to say that Y is maximal. If there is no X belongs to P. Means you take the remaining elements. X belongs to poset. Such that Y relates X. This should not be formed. Here in our example, relation means divided by y divided x. This should not be identified. If there is no x, you should not have such type of x. Then we say y it as maximal member. Let's understand with the diagram. Let's take assume that 20, you, you, you select y as 20. If there is any, if there is no x, x such that x belongs to the poset such that y relates x 20 relates x is above there is is there any element above it no assume that for suppose if you are having element 40 20 divides 40 then we cannot say 20 as maximal member because we found an element x which is y relates x but there is no such element. Those type of elements we call it as maximal members. 12 relates something. There is no element such that we are having a relation with 12. So that's why we call it as a maximal member. 25 also. There is no other element which is relating with the 25. For, for suppose if you are having 50. 25 divides 50 then you are going to have an element above it. That is what this condition says, definition says. Similarly, minimal member. Let's take Y belongs to poset. Y is a minimal member. When we are going to say that Y is a minimal member, if there is no X belongs to P, you should not find any other X in the poset such that X relates Y. X relates Y means take the example. Let's assume that 5 is a minimal member. If you find any X in the poset, any other element in the poset, if X relates Y means down it, below this we are having an element, then you should not say it as a minimal member. 
below this you should not have any other elements then only we can say it as minimal member this is what the definition of maximal and minimal members here x relates y here y relates x above below you should not find no such element x now coming to the least and uh, greatest member let's take this example this is a poset phi set a set b set a comma b this poset we already discussed previously this example we have done in our first example first diagram previously and uh, the relationship is on subset so phi subset of a phi subset of b phi subset of a b set a subset of a b set b subset of a b so this is how we constructed the hasi diagram so we are not explaining how we constructed this from this we can say that phi is the least member set a comma b is the greatest member why we call we call it as least and greatest member what is the difference between a minimal maximal least and greatest members these differences also you need to understand at the end you are going to get clarity about all those things first try to understand what is least member least member from the hasi diagram phi we call it as least member why phi is called a least member why belongs to poset let's consider why why is an element that belongs to poset p why is called as least member when we are going to say why it has why is a least member if for all x belongs to poset you consider all the x belongs to poset y relates x this has to happen y relates x relation means here in our example relation is y subset of x if this happens then only we call y it as y as least member means if you consider y if you consider this as y we we say this as least member when we are going to say it as least member for all x belongs to poset you take you take y relates x phi subset of set t a phi subset of set b phi subset of set a comma b for all the members it is satisfying the relation y relates x then y is called least member don't get confused with minimal and least member you will you need to understand that so this is what we call it as least member minimal member means here see 2 is called minimal member because it is not satisfying the property for all x let's take this 5 is minimal member because it is not satisfying the property for all x 5 subset 5 here our relation is divided by 5 divided divides 25 5 divides 10 but 5 does not divide with 2 it is not satisfying for all x so that's why it is not a least member it is minimal member so you need to understand these definitions properly what is least member what is minimal member so here phi subset of set b phi subset of set a phi subset of ab so for all x it is satisfying the property y relates x then only we say it as least member similarly greatest member here set a comma b we call it as greatest member why we call it as greatest member why belongs to poset p why is greatest member when we are going to say that why is greatest member if for all x belongs to p it has to satisfy x relates y here our relationship is x subsets of y subset of y for all x it has to satisfy means below y all the x should be there then only you can say it as a it is a greatest member see here in our example you consider this as greatest member why we consider this as greatest member for all x sub set a subset of set ab set b subset of set ab set phi subset of ab for all x it is satisfying the property x relates y then only you say it as greatest member let's do some practice examples for better understanding in this hasi diagram uh, take this hasi diagram what is the least uh, least member least member is a what is the greatest member 
we don't have any greatest members here because we are having a maximal members b c d are the maximal members so what is the maximal members b c d do you have minimal members no we are having only one that we call it as greatest member uh, least member we don't have least member uh, minimal we call it as least member similarly take the next example on this what is the we here we don't have no least member no greatest member we are having a b minimal members d e maximal members by looking at the diagram you can easily identify what is least maximal minimal and greatest member hope you understand this examples if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you